Hello, everyone. I'm Peter Cartmel, and I'm the Platform Manager at Galvanic Applied Sciences. Today, we have application training regarding natural gas orderization. We will provide a process introduction, discuss key challenges, and offer a recommendation. Natural gas goes through many different process steps before it reaches consumer. As you can see in the value change, orderization is the final step in natural gas transmission. Before the natural gas company takes over the or distribution. Have you ever received one of these scratch the sniffs cards in the mail? This informs the public of what natural gas leak smells like. Natural gas is required to contain a specific concentration of odorant. Odorants are added to the natural gas to allow for human leak detection. Common odorant species include isopropyl mercaptan, teributyl mercaptan, normal propyl mercaptan, secondary butyl mercaptan, and tertiary hydro. Thiophene. Here's an example of what an order injection system might look like. These automatic systems are used to add the exact amount of order required. Natural gas distribution companies employ sniffers who judge the order level in the natural gas to make sure that the orderization is accurate. Natural gas orderization faces several challenges. Dosing too little order doesn't sufficiently alert the public to the gas leak. Dosing too much odorant has consumers calling utility companies claiming that there is a leak. Odorant can also fade over time depending on the transportation and storage condition. Sniff test is required, but it only shows a snapshot of the odorant concentration. Odorized natural gas travels across hundreds of miles of interstate pipeline. Dispatching sniffers across vast distance is both time-consuming and costly. There are several technologies used to quantitatively monitor odorant concentration. Drinker tubes are used to manually measure odorants. However, the disadvantage is that the oil operator needs a specific tube for each sulfur species. There are also limitations on accuracy. Online process analyzer uses UV method to automatically monitor odorants. However, performance can be a negative impact if there are upsets or changes in the composition from blending. UV works well for high range measurement, but since odorants are low concentration, accuracy is limited. In most cases, dedicated calibration standards will be required for the analyzer to measure multiple sulfur species. Online process analyzer using a wet cell gas schematograph method is also automatically monitors odorants. In addition to requiring dedicated cal standard, the consumable for these systems are carcinogenic. To effectively and accurately monitor order natural gas, we recommend using a chemical analysis method to measure speciated sulfur. This provides an equimolar response to all sulfur species from PPB to PPM ranges. Every sulfur in the gas matrix is measured within seven minutes. Only one cal gas is required to measure all sulfur species. The best way to complement sniff tests is by continuously monitoring the order and content. The analyzer quickly identifies odor fading due to new piping, contamination, or side reactions. Analyzers also help troubleshoot odorization performance to support preventative action. The DCS will receive a recommended dosing rate calculated by the analyzer. Additional sulfur species can be measured depending on the requirements. This includes H2S, total sulfur, and any other sulfur species. Chemiluminum gas chromatograph is an accurate way of measuring odorants. After capturing a sample, sulfur reacts with air and hydrogen under a vacuum at 750 degrees C. Sulfur monoxide is formed and sent to the reaction cell. An ozone generator creates ozone which reacts with the SO to form SO2 and light. A photomultiplier tube detects the light and generates a voltage. The voltage generation is proportional to the sulfur compound concentration. This method follows the approved ASTM method D5504. We are here to answer your questions about how our software Chrome GC can support your organization operation. Please contact our sales team, myself, Peter Cartmel, or your local representative. Thank you.